people near the coast should evacuate immediately to higher ground if they are. That warning was extremely good advice. The prefecture, northeastern Japan, an intensity of seven was recorded on the uh, R studios. When earthquakes hit newsrooms, it's easy to see straight away how powerful they are. And if they're out to sea, just off the coast, then the tsunami doesn't take long to turn up. And this is a look, once again, at Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture. And it looks like a tsunami has been engulfing, engulfing the port. You're seeing live footage of a tsunami engulfing the port area of Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture. We've been reporting earlier on that the, the meteorological agency has issued a warning for tsunami up to six meters deep, uh, six meters high, and this is what's happening right as we speak. A large tsunami engulfing the port of Kamaishi in Iwate Prefecture. While that was all happening in the northeast of Japan, Tokyo, the capital further south, was feeling it as well in different ways. TV channels showed fires burning, people trapped in high-rise buildings. Although other pictures suggested most buildings had stood up to the earthquake as they're designed to, others had collapsed and it's impossible to imagine the number of dead from this won't be substantial. Also establish a special office to look into the damage to banks and other financial institutions. Geological experts have warned that while the tsunami roared west towards Japan, it's also likely to have moved north and that means the southeastern tip of Russia near Vladivostok. There are warnings for other countries as well, as diverse as Taiwan and Hawaii. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.